Welcome to the video boys and girls and today we're going to take a quick look at a 0.63 experimental release checklist. How long do we still need to wait before the 0.63 update is released on the experimental branch? That's a question we get asked every day. While it's still hard to estimate exact release dates at this stage of development, we've learned our lesson about estimating dates, we at least wanted to provide an overview of the work that remains to be done before the release is a go. The team have put together four stages in which these features or systems may be put under. Ready for experimental in green, in progress in orange, to do in red, and postponed in grey. I won't read through the whole list, there's quite a few things here in different sections like new player character, gameplay, weapons, AI, etc. But from a quick glance, and I will scroll through this on screen now, I will also leave a link in the description below, as always, we can see that vaulting, jumping, and climbing are still in progress. The climbing also has postponed next to it. Hopefully it makes it to 6.3's experimental branch. Whether this means we'll see climbing straight away on 0.63 experimental or a little bit later down the line in a further iteration. Either way, vaulting, jumping and climbing is something a lot of players have wondered about for a very long time. We've of course seen it in Battlegrounds and wonder if it'll work the same in DayZ. With that said, it'll be a complete game changer and I'm really looking forward to it. We can also see under combat that melee is still very much in progress, with evades and block being a huge part of the changes to melee. I would expect this to have a lot of love and attention to get it just right. Under gameplay we have things like hit reactions which are still labelled as in progress. This is something quite important for PvP. Having a visual hit reaction on the target you're trying to take down is something that will immerse you and make you feel more positive on that particular action that you're attempting to achieve. Under weapons we only have scopes and jamming that are still labelled as in progress or postponed. Of course as mentioned previously 0.63 should have parity with 0.62 meaning all content and features should be similar on either build. Of course, many being greatly improved on 0.63 over their 0.62 counterparts. Under AI, animals seem to be ready for experimental, but the infected still need a bit of work, with stealth, advanced combat, expanded behavior, and improved movement all still in progress. Obviously, infected are a large part of Daisy's experience, and I'm really looking forward to the changes and improvements with the infected that come with 6.3. And finally, the UI. Hmm, looks like we've only got a few things in progress down here. Character status, action widget, and inventory are all ready for experimental. Character selection and option screen are in progress, as well as sensors. Now, these are the things we are waiting for experimental build initially. Of course, a lot of it to meet parity with 0.62, so we get at least the same experience content-wise. Keep in mind, though, guys, and it's something I always mention on my streams, always expect to meet bugs on experimental branch. Something I have been expecting for 0.63 Experimental is somebody to find bugs that like to make uh, clicky videos and uh, and just make a hate video on DayZ saying, what the hell is this? It's experimental, there's going to be bugs, guys. It's not going to be perfect. It's still going to be very much work in progress. And what we're doing at the moment, we've taken a look at this list, is seeing the remaining in-progress features and waiting for them to get ready for experimental and then test all our asses off in-game and give feedback as much as possible. It's going to be an ongoing thing still on experimental, and all of our feedback will help greatly in improving these features quicker. Either way, the list's not too bad. It's not too bad. It sh we shouldn't be too long before experimental. But let's finish this off with, we'll do our best to go through this list twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays, even if it would mean the state of badges for each feature system stay the same. With each update that has some new things marked as ready for experimental, we'll also share that information on our social media channels. We hope this will make our development progress a bit more transparent, and hopefully you'll also get at least some sort of estimate for experimental release. Now again, something I've been saying for experimental release on my streams, link to the channel is in the description below. I stream most weekdays at midday UK time. Don't miss it. A lot of people don't realize I still stream. I'm going to keep plugging it on YouTube. And um, what I was trying to say is I've estimated for a May, April, May release at the latest May for experimental. 1.0 by the end of 2018, they're going to want themselves a good six months to add content and fix bugs uh, during beta. So I think May is probably a, kind of a, the latest we'll expect experimental. This is purely speculation on my part, uh, I guess. An educated guess, though. You know, been a very close follower of DayZ. So hopefully sooner. You never know, we might see it by the end of March, maybe beginning of April. But I would expect maybe May at the latest. I could be completely wrong on this. It may be the month after May. I forget what month that is, but you know what I mean. Experimental is going to be extremely busy. That's another thing to bring up. We are going to struggle to get on experimental, but there is that queue system. So just get in that queue and wait. Have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, or if you've got um, uh, something to watch, a TV show on, 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 on your phone or something like that, and keep an eye on your screen, on your queue, and, and, and wait for the, the server to, to join you. It's going to be a good time. 
A lot of players are going to come back. I estimate hundreds of thousands coming back for stable. Of course, that won't happen with experimental because the resources aren't there for all the experimental servers, but we'll see. They might surprise us with that. We may get a load more experimental servers because of the uh, the hype. Another thing as well to talk about is, is hype. Try not to get too excited. Like I've said before, there will be bugs. You're going to run into bugs. So don't go in expecting perfection with 0.63's experimental release, at least. You know, there will be bugs. It's still going to be an ongoing progress and multiple iterations to 0.63 on experimental. It's going to take time still, even when it's in our hands, but it's going to be a good ride. And the community and the player base will return. Not everybody's going to like what's changed. There will be some negative feedback. That's a given. It's going to happen. But we'll pull together and we'll make Daisy great again. Because in beta, we trust. Also, Lady tweeted out some little sneaky sneak pictures of 0.63 test build from her play session with the dev team in-house. Check out these pictures, looking good. I think I see a new hairstyle there on this character. Let me know if you see anything else new in these pictures, but it looks nice and it's playable on the internal build, so hopefully not long until we get it in our hands and we give it a proper kick of the old tires. Let me know if you enjoyed the video in the comments below. Let's discuss this. Thank you for subscribing. Hit that like button as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you peeps next time.